What's up? It's your boy Breeder Expedited. Just got done running 10 miles, and you already know we got an ultra thought. This tip was made popular by my cousin Peyton Barber running back for the Washington football team. Um, the same name of the name of this tip I like to give it is called incremental trophies. So when you're in the thick of the run and everything is hurting and you still got a goal to reach, to maintain a certain pace, to build your endurance, you got to give yourself incremental victories. Look out in the distance and see something close to you that you can tell your brain, hey, when we get there, I'm going I'm to I'm I'm give you a break. Just get there for me. When you get there, congratulate your brain and then give it another, another, another goal. And you keep doing that until, until you reach your vision, right? Those incremental victories, what'll happen is, is you pile up five or 10 of them. You can do something with your brain again and be like, hey, I know you want to quit, but look how far we came. Don't you think we can do more? And you know what's going to happen? Your body and your brain going to agree with you. And it's going to be able to push you past it. <laughs> Stay tuned tomorrow for another tip. Once those incremental things get to the really tough part, there's another thing that you can do. But yeah, that was made, uh, made given to me. That tip was given to me by my, my cousin Peyton Barber. One of the best athletes I ever met in my life. Somebody that ain't going to give up, you know. So I um, hope you guys take that. Take that. Uh, that's some valuable tip. Incremental victories. You can use that throughout your life and while you're running. Give yourself incremental victories. This is your boy, Bree. Let's get it. Ultra thought number three. Stay tuned for tomorrow. I'll be talking about the 40% rule made popular by uh, David Goggins. I feel like I need to tell y'all something else. I don't know. There's something on my spirit. I don't know who need to hear this. Let me say that. Um, listen, if you ever get down in a pit, you fall, and you're not achieving the goals that you want to in, in, in the right amount of time, you got to find something in your path to be grateful for and let that springboard you to victory. Gratefulness, joy is our number one weapon to, to, to reach greatness. Why is that? When I was real young, this lady came and taught us a song um, that the devil wants to steal your joy. If he steals your joy, he steals your, your ability to overcome tough situations, right? That's what joy, you don't have to be happy or sad to have joy. You can be grateful and joy comes with it, right? So use gratefulness, use joy to achieve whatever that has been placed on your heart. You might think your dreams are just from you, but you didn't create yourself. They come from somewhere. I like to believe that they come from God. He placed those dreams on your heart. He gave you all the tools necessary to make them happen. He just wants you to put the work and then he's going to step in to do the, the, the parts you can't see getting done, right? Just keep going, though. I'm going to pray for you. Lord, I thank you for what you're doing in their life. Pray to continue to pour courageousness and perfumes of beauty. Give them, the, give them the spirit that the toughness of Samson, the wisdom of, of, of David's son, um, Solomon. I think, yeah, that's his name. Oh, look, David's son, though. Give them the heart of David, right? Let them see past those negative things in their life. Let them push toward, put to, push toward greatness that you called them to. I pray that you sprinkle them. I pray that you perfume achievement all over their life. Let your light shine, shine their path. Let it be clear. Most importantly, give them the willis, willingness not to stay in a mess, but help, 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 them, help them get up. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Yeah, that's it. I think that's it, man. Just trying to be sensitive. I know there's a lot of people watching this, and my thing is, if one person gets what they need, that's a blessing, because that one person may be the one that solved the, the problem for one community. They just needed a spark, right? So... Listen, man, hey, um, Jesus died for your sins. 
You can accept the gift of life that comes through him by just asking for forgiveness. And then that brings you back in right connection with God. That's as simple as it is. You know, there's a there's a chasm between you and God and Jesus is a bridge over that gap. And if you accept him into your heart and believe he died for you, you can be saved. Um, and that don't mean magic. Your life is taken care of or anything, but that's a source of strength to help any any of your dreams, any of your callings come to fruition. He'll, he'll empower you to do it. I think I said all I needed to say. That's good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Take that. <laughs> it's your boy Bree. Let's get it.